Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number four of the NCP Nimbus Division and we are up against uh, Starfish and his Ball State Ball Guys. He has one of the best logos in the game, but um, it's going to be a really stressful matchup, right? He has a lot of threats that I don't think I managed terribly well on my team and he says he was also scared for, my, for the matchup against me. So I don't know what that means. So I do see the Garbodor, Quagsire, uh, Galarian Weezing, Cobalion, Kiram, and Boltund. So, right off that, no Rune Regis, right? No Centiscores, no Duosion, no Mandibuzz. Wow, no Mandibuzz is crazy. No Mandibuzz is insane. So, what does that mean for me? I really don't think I match up well here, but I guess we will see. Um, Part of me just wants to lead off with with um dragapult now he doesn't have an, any type of normal type or anything like that so specs shadow ball was incredibly spammable in this matchup i wonder what he brought the quagsire for quagsire really i felt wasn't a lock to come here but regardless um hmm i think i don't know i don't want to lead off with dragapult every time but i think it makes as much sense as anything else no sense of is actually kind of wild to me it means, um, it means that, uh, I'm gonna have a crazy time with my, I worried so much about the Santa scores too, but it means that I'm gonna have a really interesting time with my, with my Sylveon, and, yeah, no Mandibuzz, I'm just, I just, I just, I'm flabbergasted, I also didn't take a screenshot of the team once again, which I, uh, keep slipping on, but I will as soon as we get into the matchup, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna get the snipping, well, the snipping tool right here, okay, we're fine, we're good, everything's good, but, yeah, I guess I'm, I guess everything I understand, except for, except for really, like, yeah, the Sender Scorch, I guess it makes sense, I guess it makes sense, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just freaking out because, the matchup was really awkward for me. The matchup was super awkward for me. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I, I want to say I just fire off a spec Shadow Ball here. I mean, I want to say it'll be a 2 KO. I'm not entirely sure about that, but y you know what? Let's just say it will be. If we believe enough, then who knows? Right? That's how Pokemon works. Uh, but yeah, no. Blank set Garbodor, so let's just assume Max HP Garbodor. Uh, Shadow Ball is almost definitely 2 KO. Uh, Max Special Defense, uh, borders on a 2 KO. But this is a 2 KO that I really, really want here. And it's pretty much Max Special Defense. Now, I do have the Eldegoss in the back. This is, um, Eldegoss is going to be my only removal, but it felt really necessary in this matchup because, um, because I really did need it here. I thought, um, I've... I thought given uh, the way that he plays, he would want to bring to um, Hazard Stack against me, and I really had to have some counterplay against it. It's going to be interesting because I do think that the that the Quagsire is going to be a reasonably free opportunity to get that kind of... Um, does withdraw, but again, he, I don't feel like he has the best answers. He does go into this thing, but this is still a spec Shadow Ball. I'm very, very curious to see how much this does... It's, again, just barely misses out on a 2 KO, but I definitely do not want to stay in here. Um, but what, what I want to do here... Hmm. I'm thinking... Yeah, this definitely doesn't seem like a bad play at all. Um, yeah, okay. I think I can make this play. Uh, now, again, part of me just really wants to um, Iron Head into this thing. Uh, he will see that I'm heavy duty boots, which is going to be fine ultimately. And uh, my Raichu is on an air balloon, so it'll be a little bit um, conserved from just having to deal with uh, just having to, to deal with the the toxic spikes. And if I can just get my my Milotic burned, then that's not going to be a concern for that either. But um, it does. It does play a huge role again of, with the Sylveon situation. 
and I definitely want to preserve my Dragapult to deal as much damage as possible in the later games. So those are going to be important. And again, Eldegoss is just going to kind of be a, a removal bot in this matchup. But ultimately, I don't think I might open up a lot. I think part of me just really wants to fire off an Iron Head here. Um, I'm curious to know whether or not he would stay in, just assuming that, that he could take anything that I would want, want to do right now. But at the same time... He, I mean, he would definitely want to go into the Quagsire. Would it be worth toxicing the Quagsire? I think it might be. I think it honestly might be. Even even though he has two poison types in the back, and this could be a huge, huge throw right now. I might go for the Iron Head play. I might just go for the Iron Head play. But Toxic seems such like such a solid play here. I'm gonna I'm gonna click Iron Head. I think he would want to stay in here just because. He might, he might honestly want to stay in a Toxic. Goes for the Protect. Okay. So now he knows what I'm trying to do. And I wonder... That's probably going to dictate what he wants to do. That, that was most likely a Scout, I think. And I think he's going to want to dictate how he wants to make this next play, which I think is fine. But now that I've revealed Iron Head, I think the Quagsire is even more likely. And I think um, a Toxic makes the most amount of sense here. Um, especially when the when the Garbodor is so weakened that I do think the the, the Garbodor um, the Garbodor would get to a KO'd by by a combination yeah yeah when the when the Garbodor would be, would get to a KO'd by a combination of the um, Iron Head into Flare Blitz but regardless um, Bolt Hunt is still a problem. Kiram is still a problem. We have a lot of problems that we have to work our way through. Uh, he could just Scald, although I think... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, honestly, Earth Power is a super free play. But I really want to get a Rapid Spin off. Like, desperately. Um, he does have two Poison types for my Eldegoss in case, but like I said, I think it's just going to be a matter of getting my, my Milotic burned, and... Best case scenario is my Sylveon never, never gets poisoned, but I do have Heal Bell on my um, Sylveon for any type of Toxic shenanigans, as well as for any type of um, Toxic Spike situations like, obviously, the one that we're dealing with. She said, is that going to be Kiram? No, it's going to be uh, the Bolton. That's interesting to me. I wonder what he expected there. I don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe the Milotic. Yeah, yeah, that makes as much sense as anything else. But, um, I do want to fire off a Leech Seed. I think that would be beneficial overall. Rapid Spin, I really do want to spin, but I think I just talked myself into it not being the biggest deal in the world, just because it is one layer of Toxic Spikes, and my Sylveon is the one that I want to protect most of all, and my Sylveon does have the Heal Bell on it, so I think I can mitigate it a little bit, at least, at, at, at least enough where later on in the match I will be able to, um, figure a few things out in terms of being able to deal with the threat. Um, but I do, I desperately do need to find an opportunity to get, to get a, to get a rabbit spin off. But I'm here, I, I think spikes are really, really free here. Um, expect me to want to switch out. But I wonder, honestly, I think my Dragapult can come in as well. I think my Dragapult can come in as well. Hmm. I could also. I did bring my 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 Raichu in to kind of be a pivot here, but it's also too weak to really do much of pivoting in this matchup overall. I think, yeah, I think this play makes as much sense as anything else. Except I really don't want this thing to take too too much damage. I would be very very curious to know if um if. He has dual spikes on between um, between the Garbodor and the Weezing. That's what I was going for. But yeah, this thing will get worn down. It will not take another hit. And ultimately, I get a really strong Specs hit off, which is what I need this Dragon Ball to do throughout the... Throughout, uh, the balance of this match. I could also try to U-turn, making some kind of a read here, but 
He could just be sagging this off. I really don't think he wants to be taking too, too much damage with much else in the back. Other than maybe the, the Galarian Weezing. That's looking to be about a... Uh, he. It looks like he's taking, taking himself out of 2 KO range with that. But um, at the same time, I think I just have to take the damage for right now. Um, especially when... I don't know. Weezing may or may not be a, a, a 2KO. It's still very, very unclear. But I guess we're going to find that out um, a little bit throughout this matchup. And I just realized that Scarf Bolt Hunt with Crunch uh, is a huge, huge problem for me just in general. Uh, U-Turn would have been solid. But again, I really kind of did expect him to, to kind of make uh, some kind of play here. Definitely um, calling me out, expecting me not to click Draco, which I really wanted to do. But um, I knew the Galarian Weezing was in the back. This is a 2KO. So this thing could be Scarf. This thing could absolutely be Scarf. If it is Scarfed and it takes me out, can I win? Can I still win? Probably not. I actually don't think I can. Um, can I... Part of me is thinking that the Raichu's find a sack here, I think. If he, But that's only if he Dracos. I think it's more likely that he clicks Ice Beam and I take one. Yeah, Draco just seems really unlikely right now. And I really want to know if this thing is scarfed. I guess, yeah, I guess all that this does is kind of shift my sack over from, from, um, from Dragapult to Raichu. If it is scarfed, then it will have to be the Raichu and it will, um, to a KO me. But I'm just, just go straight up for the Draco. That's very, very interesting to me. So if, so this will probably KO me, which is fine. And then, uh, I'll very freely be able, be able to go into Sylveon here. And then, from there, I can just start setting up Palm Eyes, I think. Um, the Garbodor is an issue. The Garbodor is definitely an issue. The Garbodor is definitely an issue. How do I manage that? I don't know how I manage that. Uh, maybe I... Mm, what do I do? Actually, yeah, that yeah, that probably lets me go just go into this thing and well, that's assuming it's scarf. I actually don't yet know if it's scarf, but I guess if this thing does go down, then it would really suck for in terms of um in terms of a in terms of a potential spin, but it gives me information, I guess. If this thing is able to switch up moves and go for the Ice Beam, then it it probably does threaten me, I imagine. Just a... Uh, I don't know. He, he's probably also cacking out Scarf Kiram and whether it's even worth it to stay in here, but... I honestly don't know. Eldegoss is very potentially bulky. So, it's kind of a tough call here. It does withdraw. And let me get the spin off. And it does mean that I'll be able to outspeed this thing coming in. And it looks like it might be in range of a Hyper Voice. I'm gonna have to, well, it is max special defense. I, have to, I do have to keep that in mind. It, and it is Rocky Helmet, okay. Garbodor. Could this be in range of a Hyper Voice? It's not in range of a Hyper Voice, but... I can, I can also Leech Seed this thing. I can also leech seed this thing, which... Huh. I'm gonna click Hyper Voice. I think... I think... I'm really not in a position to continue to get Hazard Sacks, so I think I... I think this is just something that I kind of have to do a little bit, but... Yeah, I think worst case scenario, he... He, um, gets up Spikes, and I take him out eventually. Right? Like, I have plenty of turns of... Yeah. I don't think this will be the worst thing in the world. Um, especially because... Yeah. Yeah, I think... And I think if he ever does switch out, then... Um... Then I'm fast enough where I could leech seed anything on his on his team, which will put me in a really interesting position. But if nothing else, if nothing else, well, I don't know. Is is 
is Toxic Spikes that bad on the rest of my team? Because, um, my Lotus is going to get Toxic anyway. I still have Heal Bell for my Sylveon. Uh, Dragapult's already Toxic and, er, or Poisoned, and Arcanine does withdraw. So, I, so, yeah, like I was saying before, I can get a Rapid Spin off, and I can Leech Seed whatever the heck wants to come in here. He probably did expect me to, to click Hyper Voice again, but this gets me in a little bit of a better position, and it allows me to get a Leech Seed off to put, to put whatever I want to bring in here um, in a better position as well, although, do I potentially lose this thing? Um, if he, if he Source Dance, right, th could, could this thing be, be Dual Dance? This, if this thing is Dual Dance, then, uh, I probably lose? Because it gets 6 0 Probably. Probably, well, if it's Dual Dance, then, what does that mean? He, he has to, like, well, he can Iron Hand Flinch my Dragapult, so, yeah. There's a Source Dance. And what do you do from here? I probably have to take the turn that he's giving me. Man, yeah, but I don't know. That's also super risky if he's if he's not agility. But if he's not agility, then he then I can manage it with Dragapult. But see, this is one of the worst things of, about that Senna Scorch because that Senna Scorch forced me into Flash Fire Arcanine. And yeah, this was honestly one of the uh not great uh team building experiences of you know this entire season but actually um if he is just swords dance then huh i might be able to make this play i think i, I think i have to i think yeah, I think my I think my Milotic has to be the one to, to kind of manage this here. If he attacks, that'd be pretty bad. Because, but I really expect this thing to want to. Well, yeah, eat, either rock polish or set up another sword dance. So now we're here, um, which is a really awkward space to be. But, 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 um, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. I don't think. What is this thing? My Lodic. He is at plus four. So that's uh not good. But Oh wow, he's running out of time really, really quickly, actually. There's the close combat. I probably should have just clicked recover. I was confident enough that, that we would take Oh, he's at minus one now too, so. That actually is not insignificant. That is not insignificant. That does a lot. Do we get the burn? No, we don't get a burn. But does he feel forced into that? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think I might just want to bring in... Hmm. No, I don't think I can risk it. I think I just click recover here. He's really running, at, running, running out of time quickly. Yeah, no, I do call it. But can we take it? Okay, we do take it. Can we not flinch? Okay, okay. That's awesome. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. And this thing will get taken down by Eldegoss. Eldegoss is going to get that KO. Um, But yeah, that was probably best case scenario. We made that read. We we, we, we made the read that we had to. And now Bolt Hunt comes in for absolutely free. And I probably just sack off Eldegoss at this point, right? I probably just sack off Eldegoss at this point. Um, if anything, Bolt Hunt is really, really free to click Bolt Switch, and... But would it? No, I, it might not. Well, actually, Bolt Hunt might want to be... Might want to be a competitive special attacking set, um, which makes as much sense as anything for my... No, it goes into this thing. Okay. Okay, well, I'm interested. Uh, I'm interested. I think... I think... I go into this? Hmm. It's tough because I might need my Arcanine for Bolt Hunt, but... I don't think I'm in a position to risk it right now. <laughs> I'm really not in a position to risk it. Um, it could invite in the Galarian Weezing, but I think Freeze Dry is just 
as likely as anything else he could possibly do. Uh, that's definitely looking like, like Draco range to me. And I wonder if I would play off of that and potentially want to go into Sylveon here. But I think... I think Morning Sun makes a sense as, as much sense as anything else. Because if I do get the special attack drop, then... Then I can start to wear down the team a little bit. It's just a matter of playing a kind of uh, bending and not breaking kind of strategy here. But... Um, Thankfully, we just made it past the, the Cobalion, right? Because that could have 100% just beat us, especially if it was Rock Polish, right? I'm kind of surprised it wasn't. Um, but from here, Kirim is absolutely the, the biggest threat. And, and Bolt Hunt is like a, a, a sleeper threat where I could absolutely lose to Bolt Hunt if, um, if I let my team get weakened enough and I don't have the proper checks to Bolt Hunt. And again, um, Earth Power. Okay, no, that's totally fair enough. Can we take one? No, we don't. Okay, but I think that's fine. I think that's fine. It it has switched up moves, which means, which first of all, I'm pretty sure just just makes it um a guarantee that a guarantee that Bolt Hunt is scarfed, scarfed crunch or some kind of nonsense like that in order to um beat in order to beat uh my Dragapult. I think that pretty much confirms that, right? So, I think it's going to be tough, but I think that's what draw. Uh, sacks off the, sacks off this, okay. And if it allows in Bolt Hunt, then yeah, it's pretty much confirmed, but if the Bolt Hunt comes in, if the Bolt Hunt comes in, then I sack off Eldegoss. I sack off Eldegoss, and then I go for game with, uh, with Sylveon, right? I kind of have to at that point. And if I can, if I can beat him on behind a sub and not let Kiram beat me, then, then that's my path to winning, ultimately. It goes into this thing. Well, this thing also just means that I sack off Eldegoss, right? If, actually, yeah, because if this thing goes for any type, if, okay, so let's say that this thing beats my Eldegoss, right? Then that means that, that means that my Sylveon comes in, my Sylveon starts, starts, um, calm minding up, and then again, it's going to be a matter of Making my sure my making sure my Sylveon is safely behind a a a sub, and ideally I can deal with because I am the way that everything's been playing out. I am pretty convinced. I'm pretty convinced that the that the Kyurem is okay. That the Kyurem is going to be some kind of a set with with Iron Head, some kind of a mix set with, with Iron Head. So. Potentially, that would be Freeze Dry, Draco, Iron Head, Ice Beam Roost. I don't know, something to that effect. Um, I'd be surprised if the if the last move was was, was Flash Cannon, given that um, given my Sylveon around here. But yeah, the Leech Seed was was, was obvious. It's going, but it's going to um, disincentivize the Quagsire from coming in. Um, the Kiram has a tough time coming in, and Bolt Hunt always has a tough time coming into this, so this could be the answer to kind of wearing down this this Weezing. And what's going to be even more interesting is that this could even allow my Sylveon in here as well, because it does go for the Fire Blast. I think that's going to be fine. But that's an interesting set for this, right? So Fire Blast, presumably, it, we, we've seen Strange Seam, so Fire Blast, Strange Seam, I have to assume Sludge Bomb. Protect, Strange Seam... Fire Blast, Sludge Bomb. I, th I, th I guess that's a set, right? But if the best thing that it has to hit me with is is um, Sludge Bomb, then potentially I can switch in my Sylveon and start getting Calm Mines. I mean, my Calm Mines, obviously all my hits are going to be resisted, but it's not impossible for me to make something happen here with, with Leftovers and... And with Heal Bell, in case I get 
uh, poison here. But it might honestly just be better to get one last hit off and let my Eldegoss go down. I think that would potentially be a lot better. Because ultimately, I, 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 I think the only way that I still win this matchup is with my Sylveon winning it, right? And I'm very curious to know what comes in. The Kyurem comes in. Okay. Okay. We do get a little bit of shift damage, but that's going to... Again, if this thing goes down, that's going to pretty much confirm that um, my... My... Dragapult can come in and get a big hit off on something. And if anything, I could I, I, I could U-turn. Yeah, he has a minute left. This is going to be a very, very awkward endgame. Um, I don't exactly know how how uh, timer losses work in this particular league, but uh, I guess we're going to find out really, really soon. Um, in the UBL, I had two timer wins, and, and uh, the APA, I know, does a system where... where... Uh, Whoever times out, basically, they're, the mons left on, on their side of the field go to, go to zero. So we do take that, and we do get the lead sheet off. So I was exactly correct about about that um, Iron Head set. But, but yeah, no, the APA has a system where, like, basically, all, all of the mons on the other side of the field get... get uh, get yeeted and that's and and that's how um differentials decided and in the in the ubl the, whatever the whatever the mon the number of mons is gets like frozen uh at, at the end and and uh you can potentially win a match with negative d differential which was my week one in, in, in the ubl y you can win a match with negative differential um because of the timer situation. I think I'd take this opportunity to, to click U-turn. Um, the best thing he... Well, no, mm, that's tough. That's a tough one. He could go, he could honestly go go to Quagsire and try to make some things happen there as well. But I really want to just take the damage. I, I'm, I'm going to take some damage here. I'm going to take the damage here. Let's withdraw. He knows that the Kyurem is, is pretty much the win con here. Um... I'm very, very curious to see this type of damage. I'd, I'd be surprised if this thing is especially defensive. But at the same time, yeah, there it is. Okay, so Dragapult will pick up a KO. This could very much in, in, invite in the Bolt Hunt. And if the Bolt Hunt comes in and it is Scarfed... It, well, no, honestly, it, it invites in the Weezing, which is even... Honestly, uh, might be scarier. However, wow, he's down to 20 to 27 seconds, I believe that was. He, Something like that. That is pretty wild. But that's going to net me another KO. And it's just going to limit the switches for anything else. So this so this pretty much confirms Max Defensive. And it, and it is a really, really great 1v1 answer to, to Arcanine. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Bolt Hunt comes in, honestly. I think... Well, no. E either Bolt Hunt or, or the Weezing, yeah. Yeah, no. Weezing is definitely solid. And I wish I could U-turn out, but I can't. Um, I think this just means that this thing comes in. I don't think he has really any type of answers for, for me trying to make things happen with my, or, or, or me just staying healthy and, and, and recovering up with my, with my, this thing. Although... I think he's gonna want to go into Kyurem and try to and try to strange seam here or, or try to freeze dry me, which is really scary. But I guess, I guess if that happens, it doesn't matter because if this thing goes down, then yeah, this thing was never gonna do anything else anyway because I think I have to rely. Well, he has 19 seconds left, but I think no matter what happens, I have to rely on my on my Sylveon to beat the last three. And I guess we see how, however that works out, but um, I think no matter what, this, this is going to go to timer, which is really awkward. And I think he's playing for the confusion a little bit, maybe. But he could just expect me to... Huh. I could also click talk. Well, okay. I guess that's going to be it for time. Um, I'm going to have to see what that means for us here um i don't 100 percent know what the what the rules are about this but uh 
I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting. Okay, so it is still unclear whether or not that'll be a 3-0 or a 3-3 win, but uh, regardless, I guess I'll find out by next week. And uh, that's gonna be for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Way back really really soon with more weeks of the NCP as well as uh, more weeks of the AP Academy and uh, the UBL playoffs should be up, I believe, by now. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Gonna be once again out.